Hey, how's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a uh, Tuesday morning, 9.57 a.m. That's California time here, November 4th, 2025. We got ourselves in 2025, hopefully I said there, November. Uh, we got ourselves in a beautiful X flare kicking up right now on the uh, northeastern quadrant of the sun. That's from that massive area that's been uh, coming into view here. That's a spectacular X flare. Looks like the current uh, level is up around the, let's see what we got here for the maximum level. We'll go over here to the uh, flare threat here. It should show it up here. Let's see. There we go. Uh, X 1.8. Pretty crazy. It's been a little while since we've had an X flare. So uh, here we go. I mean, it's been kicking up here in the last two days or so since that sunspot has turned into view number of large uh, imp flares that were produced as well including a decent cme that was not earth directed this x flare looks uh, fairly impulsive meaning that there's probably not going to be a um a uh, cme associated with that x flare but uh, we'll have to watch the data either way x flare causing uh, some radio blackout there across the earth uh, side of the sun here where it's um, looks like it's centered over south america area uh, now stuff like this when it happens these flares can have an effect on navigation systems and also uh, communication systems as well uh, when it comes to uh, the high frequency ranges and also low frequency as well uh, but crazy i knew that was coming i bumped up my x flare threat here uh, yesterday because that thing was looking uh, pretty giant if you look here there's a couple different sunspots it looks like it's coming off of 4274 here uh, let's go over to the latest imagery and take a look see what we have here yeah more than likely the culprit's going to be this area back over here pretty well complex notice uh, the uh, colors here super close to one another in proximity within that sunspot and of course that's what you look for when uh well, and you look for the potential for some uh, stronger flaring like we're seeing right there. So that threat will continue. Um, but that's an absolutely beautiful image there of the sun with the large X flare. Crazy. All right, so let's go ahead and check out a quick glance here of earthquake activity. Still seeing a pretty good cluster along the Curl Cam Chatka Trench with a uh, looks like a little bit of migration going on here southward. A lot of this from yesterday, but uh, notice there's two <coughs> two new quakes here, excuse me, uh, that are more uh, towards the uh, middle section here of the Curl Kamchatka Trench. Got to watch that because uh, still got some potential there for some larger earthquake activity. Uh, some newer movement there south of the Philippines. It looks like around the Indonesia area, pretty good cluster of earthquake activity there uh, this morning. Also some movement across New Zealand finally starting to get a little uptick there in the three range it looks like the Kermadec Trench had a 4.2 late last night uh, also some activity well south of Australia along the uh, plate boundary out there it looks like uh, the rest of the globe here let's see what we got here for west coast activity uh, really nothing major going on we got this little earthquake there at the southern end of the Cascadia uh, speaking of that, let me go see what we got here for tremor counts from uh, from last night or from yesterday. 332 epicenters of tremor. Decent uptick. That's uh, continuing there at the southern end of the Cascadia. As uh, far as earthquake activity goes there across the west coast, um, fairly quiet. Not a whole lot going on out there above 2.5 today. So most of the movement, as you can see, in the smaller microquake range oil field still rocking and rolling uh, but aside from that you know we got kilauea volcano as well i believe uh just erupted here this morning let's go take a look here it was getting close i knew that was coming up all right Ooh, are they offline kilauea volcano they've been having some issues here i got a 502 why is that coming up here see if the official volcano site is working what a crazy time for them to go down well 
You know, we've got earthquake activity all over the place and the uh, Kilauea volcano in eruption mode. What's going on here? There we go. It kicked up, but uh, let's go over here to Kilauea Volcano and uh, see what we have. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, that's kind of weird. It looks like maybe they've uh, revised their uh, web address up there, so I'm going to have to change mine, I guess. Uh, but yeah, uh, looks like, uh, let's take a look here at the webcam imagery real quick, see what we have. Up at the summit, it's a little slow, but uh, it's working at least. Uh, maybe there's some, looks like some recent lava flows there. Uh, the def deformation data will tell us what uh, has happened. Let's take a look here real quick. Maybe not. Maybe we haven't seen a full-scale eruption yet across Kilauea Volcano. Uh, maybe some just over, I guess they're called overspills. Uh, it looks like there was a couple of them, but the deflation model here shows continued inflation. We should be getting very close, though, uh, to seeing a, um, another eruption there, episode 36. That's an absolutely beautiful flare, so I'm going to use that for my... Uh, my thumbnail but uh, anyway folks um that'd be it for right now just wanted to keep this short and simple i'm gonna get rid of that i can do better than that i know i can <laughs> have yourself a wonderful tuesday it's quite wet out here in northern california it's been raining all night and it just let up here uh, a short time ago but uh we got more rain in the forecast here for the uh for Tuesday and also for uh, Wednesday as well as a uh, bigger system comes in. But uh, anyway, folks, have yourself a um, a good day out there, and we will catch you guys out here later on this evening. Uh, real quick, though, looks like there's a tornado, potential tornado threat out here along the Oregon and Northern California coast. A little 2% chance there for uh, tomorrow. This is for Wednesday. Uh, day one just has some general thunderstorm risk out there across the uh, uh, northern California coast, but that's all from a uh, pretty decent system. Going to bring in some uh, beneficial rainfall. Um, northern California up in Oregon and Washington. And uh, the pattern out here looks to be quite wet for California. Southern California going to get in on some moisture as well. Look at that storm system there around the uh, 17th of November. That is a whopper of a system. So we'll continue to watch that. All right. Have yourself a wonderful day. We'll see you guys out here a little bit later on this evening. Of course, unless something major happens. Take care.